What's up, what's up, Royal fans? I'm your host, Sheldon Moon. Today's headline. The Duke and Dutch of Sussex have followed up their partnership with Netflix by signing an agreement to create a podcast for Spotify. The pair had announced in March their plans to become financially independent from the royal family while pursuing new projects away from royal life. But despite Meghan Markle and Prince Harry insisting they want to live a more private life, talk radio host Ian Collins claimed that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have shown no intention to fully step away from the spotlight. Ian Collins said they have got absolutely no intention of hiding away from the glare. They crave it. I don't think Meghan can wake up in the morning unless she thinks there is some deal to be done. And Harry seems to be just bungling along with whatever Meghan says. As it transpired, there we were in a situation where this couple wanted a life away from the highest echelon of notoriety, the British royal family. They have decided to sign not only the deal with Netflix, but with Spotify, which will be their new home for a podcast. The CEO of anti-monarchist group Republic told Express that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are desperate to stay in the spotlight, but want to make their own arrangements on how to do so. Graham Smith said, I think Meghan and Harry are very clearly desperate to stay in the spotlight. They want to do it on their own terms, in their own way. The problem is that their only claim to fame is having been royals. Because they walked away from the interest in them is going to wane over the next few years. They are going to struggle to keep people interested because they really don't have anything to offer. However, Richard Fitzwilliam told Express.co.uk that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have plenty to offer. The royal commentator said in response to Republic's comments, this is seen Harry and Meghan from a parical point of view. They are concentrating on a future in America, whilst keeping some British patronages and a Commonwealth role. However, they are of course no longer senior working royals and have a deal with Netflix, with a public speaking agency, and they want to launch their non-profit charitable foundation Archwell when the pandemic permits. I strongly disagree that they have nothing to offer. Meghan is an activist, and her feelings about breaking down taboos were made clear when she talked to graphically and movingly about her miscarriage recently. She campaigns on diversity and gender equality and speaks so articulately as she did to her high school graduates not that long ago. There you go guys, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, you know the drill by now, likes, comments, subscribe, see you tomorrow, goodbye for now.